The Elite CAD Terrain module is capable of interpreting numerical point files in three dimension and displaying the results in a parametric 3D model. This terrain can now be observed. Note also the height lines displayed and manipulated. To do so, I add a spline curve that I now insert into this terrain and using which I can also manipulate the terrain later on. I now upload additional cadastral data. Terrain data and plot data are not always identical. Here we have superimposed a cadastral copy and there is a function by which I can now separate the outline of the plot of land so that I now have precisely this size available. I now fix the volume of the terrain, which means that the height of the boundary lines is fixed, so that during subsequent manipulation, the neighbour's plot of land is not manipulated. I have uploaded an excavation plan, which I will now use in this terrain module. By clicking on the polygon, I can define the angle of inclination. I can also specify an incline at the base of the excavation, the direction of which I now confirm, and immediately the excavation is created. Cubature of this excavation is 239 cubic metres, as displayed at the top. I now wish to distribute this cubature across the site. To do so, I drag on this manipulation line. By adding precise points and situations, I am also able to landfill the excavation again, if necessary. I now create a spline, which specifies the root of a street. This street should now have this root. I can, however, correct this path at any time and then have a correctly rounded curve. I now apply this polygon, using it to calculate a road. This functionality also lets me manipulate the angle of inclination of the excavated or filled ground. However, I can also correct this gradient line at any time. And now this street will be recalculated with the terrain. This functionality enables you to construct streets and paths very subtly. The option also exists to take up this excavation again, for example, to create a garage entrance. To do so, simply drag on the relevant handles. The terrain appears in 3D and can of course be represented in accordance with the floor plans, sections and views, or the excavation can also be visualised in the view, for example. For finishing in particular, they are supported by functions that, for example, always place a library part on the surface of the terrain. If you make changes to terrain heights, these library parts also follow the surface of the terrain. Alongside this plot of land, I will now create a tennis court using a polygon. To do so, I will specify three points that define the area of the court. After the heights of these points have been set on the polygon, the court is automatically integrated into the 3D terrain. The Digital Elite CAD Terrain module is the ideal tool for planning complex construction projects helping you to adapt them perfectly to the terrain and providing every option for object presentation and representation in plans. Mm -hmm.